So, I told you earlier that I'm not going to make you watch my entire painting process. I'm just going to start off a few things and show you roughly how they work, and I will probably pause the video a lot. But, let's start off with something simple. I'm just going to paint with color. So, in the Material tab, I'm going to turn off Height, Rough, Metal, and Normal. So now I'm just dealing with color, ha, oh, one thing at a time. <laughs> This base color here will let me change the color I'm painting with. So, uh, what I like to do when I'm painting is think about the layers that I'm trying to build up. Uh, with an iguana, I'm going to start with an underpainting, and the underpainting I'm going to start with is going to be red. And part of that is that an iguana probably has green scales, and it's nice to get opposite tones in your underpainting. But the other thing is that, of course, we've all got red blood, so having some red in the undertones, and especially in the thin areas, can be really nice. So there I go. I'm going to start with this red color. And I can just leave the color picker up, which is kind of nice. At this point, if I paint, you'll see that I am indeed painting. Right now I'm painting on the UV map. But as I'm doing that, it is also painting on the model, which is wonderful. So I can paint on the UV map and immediately see what's happening with the model. Or vice versa, I can paint on the model and immediately see what's happening on the UV map. So it's really great to be able to work back and forth, and also to be aware of what's happening with each thing. So. This little bit right here is the inside of the mouth, and the inside of the mouth is going to be red, so I'm just going to kind of paint that red and leave it. But of course right now I'm painting everything red, so it's hard to tell that that's something I'm doing very specially. The other thing that I'll say is that while I'm doing this, I think that even in underpainting, it's nice to have some variation. So I might take a, a really dark red and start to say, you know, the areas where the skin is thinner, maybe they should be a little bit darker. Maybe in the armpits I can build up a really dark color. And because I'm working on both the UV map and the model at the same time, I can really work back and forth. And you can also really start to see where having not a mouse, but a tablet with a pen would come in really handy, can't you? Yes, you can. Let me just zoom in here and see if I can start getting some of these little toesies. Let me make my brush smaller. So I like being able to build up kind of modeled colors, where it's not just all one thing. I like being able to zoom in on stuff. And I like painting in general. I think painting is a really good thing for us all to do. It is a little hard to see on the UV map sometimes, but this material pull down here will let me look at various things. Since I'm painting color, I can take a look at my base color, and I can see which areas I've missed a little more easily. Like, look, I missed all of that. Maybe I'll come in with a brighter red color and an even larger brush and start filling some of these things on the body in here. And again, I don't want to go too, too heavy. I just want to get a nice full amount of coverage and texture running throughout the model. So I'm not going to make you watch me paint the rest of this. I will pause here, finish filling in my underpainting, and then we'll talk about my next layer.